good morning. Slept good. It's day two. Uh, it's very mild out. Pretty sure the fire went out like hours ago, but it's not cold enough to have to relight it. Pretty sure we're in the the plus, plus temperatures. So today, today's goal is catch fish, maybe build a shed so I can organize this place. figure it out as we go uh, <clears throat> okay bye See how this worked. Perfect. Perfect. Oh boy. Put that so it doesn't fly away. <sighs> Beauty. Try a little guy. <sighs> wow, it's quiet out here. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Voila, do it. <sighs> Let's build a shed. Okay. So I went and uh, drilled an extra hole out there. See that far, but we got two holes. I'm gonna let those sit. I'm gonna tackle this shed project. If you look here, I got a bunch of junk, so I'm thinking a teepee style. 
with like a longer ridge pole going over there. I got that great big blue tarp. I just keep everything out of the snow and I could get some of the stuff out of the cabin, move around a little more freely. So that's that. We're gonna fire up the snowmobile because there's not a lot of wood here and we're gonna go cut down some poles and make a teepee. Let's do it.
big shed. Oh, well. Big shed. We need to uh, tie that tarp down and then get some twine, and we'll show you how to get a tie tarp tied down without any grommets. There's no grommets anywhere. I'll show you a little trick. So this is my little trick. You want to tie down a tarp and you don't have grommets available. In the summer you can use small pebbles. Um, I pulled these uh, little pine cones. I grabbed a bunch, filled my pockets. What you want to do is uh, just start a little slip knot. Start a little slip knot. I don't know if you can see this. You take your pine cone, you slip it behind, make a little ball, get your slip knot on there, and pull it tight. That way, uh, it's actually better than a grommet. I've used these in high winds and uh, they don't let go. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to anchor the uh, three corners of this and uh, then we'll see about supporting it and I'll get back to you. So I was working on my shed and one of my rods went crazy. So I did the 100 meter dash, fought it for a bit and then it let go right at the hole. Just another little guy, lost the minnow. So. I'm just gonna replace this minnow. All right, I'm going in the snow. And we'll see if we can get him back. Probably not. He was on for a bit. Get down here. Oh man, this is full of snow now. Baby. That's just a little bit of minnow action right there. Well, that guy's fed. One big fat minnow for that guy. Fish one, Dennis zero. Damn it. Okay, I got it all tied down. I'll put a couple of extra supports back here. And, uh, it won't take a snow load, but I'm here, so when it snows, I can just push it off. Um, while I was building it, I was slipping and sliding because this is a. Uh, this is a rock under here. So um, what I'm gonna do is get a bunch of spruce boughs and make a carpet. That way uh, I won't be slipping and sliding. So I'll be able to get all my stuff in there. Um, also, I have one of those little uh, camping barbecues with a couple of propane tanks. So uh, I could set that up in there and uh, barbecue. So yeah, spruce boughs on the ground and we're done.
Shed's done. Uh, it's about three o'clock. I have about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes of daylight left. I think I'm going to go find some deeper water, drop a line for an hour. I got, uh, I lost like three fish by the time I run there. I think they're really small here. But uh, I know a spot where it goes from 20 feet down to almost 80 feet. So <clears throat> I'm just going to go drill a hole and give it a try in some deeper water, try and catch a lunker. My project for today is done. I got all my stuff out of the elements. I could pull some of the crap out of the cabin and store it in here. But yeah, wasting daylight. Let's go catch a fish. So I decided to just take a little walk in the woods here. <coughs> and I came across these this wounded tree here. And I don't know if you could see this, but these are little resin resin uh, glo balls, I guess you would call them. When a tree gets damaged like this one, they kind of bleed out. I don't know if you could see all this stuff here. This is pure resin. So I'm going to collect some and uh, we're going to attempt to make some pitch glue later on and I'll, uh, I'll show you what to do with that. So score. Well, I've been here for over an hour. Nothing yet, but I'm not giving up. Went for a walk in the bush, found a bunch of pitch or sap, if you'd like to call it that. We're gonna do a cool project with that later on. Come on, fishy. Let's go. All right, I give up. We're gonna lose light soon, so. I'm gonna pull these rods up and head back. I left without a jacket, so I'm getting a little cold just sitting here. Anyways, we'll pull these lines up, go uh, warm up in the cabin. I gotta get a, I wanna drill a hole nice and close so I can draw water. Need water for dishes, stuff like that. Not drinking water, but dishes will pile up, so better have water ready to go. Anyways, I'll pull these up and we'll figure out what we're doing later.
little broccoli stalk. There. Broccoli marks the spot. This is going to be pretty hard to do with one hand, but... Full disclosure, this feels heavy, but the drag's a little, uh, a little weak right now. Feels like a lake of Almost dark, too. right at the hole, but I can't get his head to line up perfectly. Come on, baby. There you are. Oh, my God. What a nice one. It's a nice one. It's a nice fish, guys. Doesn't fit in my whole six-inch hole. Well, he does, but it's kind of sideways. Very nice fish, guys. Man, this is almost impossible. He's right there at the hole, but I can't get his head to... There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Fucking beauty. What a beauty. Yeah, buddy. Just when I was about to give up for the day, I thought, it's dark, I don't even bother dropping the lines, but I just dropped them while I went and tended to the fire, turned around, a rod was going nuts. I should get this phone out of the snow. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Beautiful lake trout. That's what I came here for, guys. <laughs> what a beauty. Now it's time to pull the rods up. It's getting pretty dark. Yes! I guess I should have brought some crayfish. This thing was full, full of crayfish. And uh, remember I said I lost a couple of minnows on this line earlier today? There he is. Fucker. Beauty lake trout.
Well, I've suffered my first injury. I don't know if you can see that. And that. I burned it. Not too bad. All right. Day two is in the books. It's a pretty good day. We had a project. Finished that. Got a shed. Got our stuff out of the out of the elements. Made a little bit more room in here. Um, caught a nice Laker right at the end of the day. Had a great steak dinner. That's why I'm so lazy right now. I got those red meat blues. Um, that's about it for today. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm very tired. It's hard work out here. Tomorrow. What do we want to do tomorrow? Tomorrow I definitely want to put a table in here. We're going to have to make a table somehow. I got scraps, but I'd like to make a bush table. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'd like to also fish the deep water, even though both lakers I caught were right here in front of the camp in like four feet of water, which is weird. But I'd still like to go hit the deeper waters. Like I said, I got that portable ice set. We can go set that up out there. And... Uh, Give it a try. I'd hate to set it up and, you know, after two hours not catching a fish, I'll be like, this is dumb. I should have stayed at camp, but we're out here to adventure. We'll go, we'll go give it a try. I have a feeling there's a big fatty in here somewhere. Yeah, what else tomorrow? We definitely have to uh, refill the uh, firewood that's in here. I've got firewood, firewood piled already cut. It just has to be unburied and split and brought in so more work tomorrow i've been editing these videos as i go so once i say i'm going to bed and i say good night i edit my videos and i pass out that way when i get home i won't be stuck uh, editing for a week and a half it'll all be done anyways day two's a wrap peace